Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 20. I hope you're doing okay. So today is round two of an attempt to go and see my nan in Gloucester today. So that's my plan and hopefully everything will go to plan this time around. Um, so I will be driving down myself as my mum and dad are stopping over the night and then I'll be coming back up later on. Hopefully during daylight hours I will return and I'll pick the boys up from school after they've watched their uh, Christmas film at school which is uh, Elf. You've not watched that before, have you, Harry, apparently? So that's going to be really nice for them. And I've treated them to some popcorn whilst they're there. And I think Domino's are donating some pizzas. So they'll be having a slice of pizza. Domino's <laughs> so, pizza. Yeah, and I'll still have to sort them some tea out because they will still be hungry when, when they get home after, after school. I need now, some tea. Um, and what, sorry? Small tea. A small tea? Yeah. Oh, you want a small tea? Yeah, sorry, I thought you meant a cup of tea. I was like, what? Don't drink caffeine drinks. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's my plan today. So I don't know how much I'm going to get filmed, but I will share what I can with you. We'll be going out for a lovely lunch after I've visited my nan um, with my auntie and uncle and my mum and dad. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I will travel back probably latest at about half past two, something like that. So today it was an online uh, link for beyond the pink door and it was Rachel from Stitched Up showing us how to make a bag charm so she had a number of different items that you could make into a lovely bag charm to put on your bag and I thought that was a really lovely idea and you can sort of mix and match whatever items you want to create this little charm and um, so that is something I probably will use in the future so thank you very much for that um, and then today we have got um, Angela's beyond the pink door one to open and today it is going to be day I think it's 15 is that right? What did we do yesterday? 14? Yeah. Yeah, 15. I was supposed to have washed my hair this morning, but I haven't haven't had time, so I've just tied it up. Um, but I, do I washed to... my hair. Yes, yeah, so he's got a headband in. I don't know what, what's going on, right? <laughs> so day 14 for Angela's. Angela's 15. 15, sorry. 15. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so let's see what we've got today. Oh, she's done that up really well, hasn't she? Oh, some more bias tape. I love it. That's really pretty. Thank you so, so much. As you know, I am a fan of bias tape. So that will definitely get used. Oh, I'm loving all this little stash. I've got build enough of bias tape. That's lovely. And the, what I do like mm -hmm. about it as well is that they're all um, nice uh, patterned ones, you know, because I've, I've had a lot daisy of plain patterned. ones in the past. So, yeah, it's daisy pattern. So I've had a lot of plain ones in the past. So it's nice to have a selection of uh, patterned Thanks, ones. Thanks, Angela, if you're watching. <laughs> she will be watching. She watches me. Yeah, so that's good. Um, right, so that's the advent calendar then. So last night was quite funny. I was just sorting out some Christmas presents and I went into the cupboard to sort some out and then there was this big box in there, opened it up and I said, I was like looking through it and I was like, what on earth is this? And Simon was laying in bed watching something with his ear, ear can noise cancelling earphones on. And I was like, what is this? And he was like, took his earphone off and said, he said, I thought that you'd ordered that for somebody. And I was like, no. So when I opened it all up, it was actually a load of cross stitches. So there's this one, which has got um, some beach huts on. And I really like that one. I'm wondering how big that is though. Um, then you had this one, which is a heart with flowers on. Another one with heart with flowers on, which I think is exactly the same. This one, which has got cats on ar around some flowers and a ball of wool, I think it is there. So that looks quite a big one. And then this little be merry one. And the other one what is, is you pass me that one. Yeah, a Christmas jumper one, which is really cute. I quite like that one. And then I had some um, sewing scissors like that. This little thing that I've never seen before, it's like a ring, right, that you put on your finger and it's a thread cutter. So it's a hemline one. And then lastly, just some hand sewing needles, which I can add into my um, little needle book that I've got. So that all came from Groves Limited and I'd actually won a giveaway on Instagram, um, which I think somebody had tagged me in and I tagged them back. Um, but yeah, I got notified that I'd won and they just said, oh, can you send me your address and we'll send them on to you. So that is what they did. But I didn't realise it was all of that. I thought it was literally one. Um, and so when I opened it up, I was like, oh my goodness, I've got all these. So there's, there's no way that I am going to be able to cross stitch all of these. So I'm thinking that I would like there to keep... No, do them one at a time well yeah there is that but you know there's only so much cross stitch that i want to do really so i'm going to keep the beach hut ones 
and I'm going to keep the Christmas jumper one. And this one, um, keep a merry one. No, I don't really want that one. Um, I want it though. Well, no, because it's, it's really hard to cross stitch. And I think when I bought a cross stitch pack last year, it was really small and I've actually given it to my auntie to complete. Um, so yes, um, and then she'll be giving it me back completed, so I've cheated. But I'm gonna, th I think I'm gonna do a giveaway for these because I think let's share the love. So, um, on this uh, video, if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these, so there's a Be Merry one, the heart one, and the other heart one, and also the cat one, then if you are interested in winning any of those, please just put a comment in the uh, comment section below um, and just, just write giveaway um, and just write whatever else you want, really. I'm not going to tell you anything specific to write because I can't think of anything. Um, but yeah, so if you wanted to go ahead and do that, that would be lovely. So there's just four, it's going to be four winners, basically. So the cat one, the two heart ones, and the little be merry one. And I will just draw at random and put everybody's name who has entered into a hat. So let's do that for the end of the year. Obviously, I will post them once I've drawn it, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get these for Christmas, let's be honest, you know, because postage now it will probably pass the date of when parcels can be received but hopefully it will be a nice little thing to have sent to you in the new year right i'm gonna crack on then and get my breakfast and get the boys ready to go out the door for school and then i'll be traveling off down yep. to gloucester to see my nan and bye hopefully bye. you know she'll be okay i mean the my dad did have a phone call from the home that she's in and there was no change since last week so that's quite good because i was worried that she was going to deteriorate even more so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing her. So I shall catch you a little bit later on. See you later. Bye. Bye. Right, I'm here. I've got here without any glitches. I've just stopped off at uh, the Tesco's at Quedgley for a quick loo stop. Um, I do find when I come into Gloucester, then I go back in time. Not literally just because I used to live here, but also because of the fact there's no phone signal here. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but when we were here with the situation with my dad's car last week, we were having in and out phone signal all day. It was a nightmare. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm just now going to have a quick snack, which I brought with me. And then I'm going to go off and meet my mum and dad at the care home and go in and see my nan. So I shall catch you a bit later. Bye. Right, I've just come out from visiting my nan and that was actually more upsetting than I thought it was going to be, if I'm completely honest. Um, I was in two minds of whether I actually did initially want to visit her since I last saw her in May because um, obviously she has deteriorated quite a lot, which is understandable at the age that she's at and also the fact that she's now not eating anything um, and she's just having um, Complan, which is like a, a meal supplement in her drinks and stuff. So they're surprised that she's keeping on going for as long as she has done, but she was always very a very buxom lady, a fighter. You know, it takes a lot to sort of knock her down. So, you know, she's hanging on bless her but it was quite a shock to see her as she was I am glad though still that I went to see her and sort of say goodbye um but she just basically slept the whole time we, we were there um and when she did wake up she she has no idea who we are at all now at all you know so yeah it was it was quite sad but I've I've, I've been and I'm I am glad that I went um so I've just dropped off some cards at my friend's houses and a present at my friend's house as well so I'm now just going to go and nip off and catch up with my mum and dad um, and my auntie and uncle and we're going to have a quick meal before I travel back on up to Leicester so it's just a quick flying visit down to Gloucester and my friends are all at work so yeah anyway I shall catch you a bit later on. I'm back home now so I had a lovely lunch out with my auntie and uncle um, and I've just driven back so it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I left at half past two it's now quarter to five so it was just a little bit slow on some points of the motorway, as you can imagine. So I've now got to go and pick the boys up from their movie afternoon at school. So they finish at 10 past five and I need to get some dinner sorted. I've got nothing ready as I'm a bit, little bit later than I thought I was going to be. Um, but yeah, a successful trip today. I'm glad I went to see her. Um, it was a little bit of a shock seeing her as she was um, and quite upsetting. But I'm still glad that I did it. Um, and... I do think it is probably the last time that I will have seen her now, so I've got to come to terms with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you will understand who have had um, a family who go through this. So um, thank you very much for joining me on my visit today. Um, and I will check in with you again tomorrow, so I'm going to sign off now. All right, take care. Bye.